Hi everyone, so this is going to be my review on the first aid, finally. Um, for those of you who don't know what the first aid is, first aid looks like this, and you should get yourself the latest version. I used the 2010 version, and I took the test in 2011, but the 2010 version was an anniversary edition, and everybody said it was really good, so I just stuck with that. Um, first off, I want to say that I started studying in January, as most of you know, the end of January, and I started doing UWorld questions in February. Check out my UWorld video where I talk about what I did with the UWorld questions and how I wrote important things in my first aid. So, in a way, I was reading my first aid before I really started reading my first aid because every time I came across a question uh, I would go that I didn't understand, I would go and look uh, up whatever it said about that question. So I was reading the first aid from the beginning. Um, then after I finished the Kaplan videos, I went ahead and read my first aid front to back. Uh, it took me a little bit over a month. I gave myself time to really read it the first time. And I used a app for iPhones or, you know, iPad, whatever you have. And it's called Cram Fighter. And I put the date I wanted to stop reading, and it gave me how many pages I should read in a day. And that's basically what I did. Um, then after I finished reading it, uh, I was already done with the videos, like I said. I read it a second time. Basically, first aid is your Bible. It, you should write everything, every doubt you have here. Because at the end, when you're getting ready to prepare... Uh, for the actual exam when you're already getting into the nitty-gritty this is all you should be looking at like you should read this over and over again if I could have read it seven times I would have that's my number one regret for the exam um, I could remember pages from the book on the, the day of the exam and I only read it twice so I can't imagine what it would be like if I read it a bunch of times so first aid is your Bible, read it as many times as possible, write in it, write everything here so that at the end of your study, the last month or so, the only place you're looking at, the last month or two, the only place you should be looking at is your first aid. You shouldn't be opening Kaplan books, you shouldn't be opening anything else. Everything should be here and you should read it over and over and over and over again, okay? So as you can see, my first aid is nice and written in. I mean, I didn't write a lot, but I was constantly writing whatever I thought was important. Okay, and highlighting. If there was something that I saw over and over again um, that they would ask me all the time, then I would write whatever I thought was important so that I can get it so I wouldn't have to be coming back and forth with the Kaplan books. Um... Towards the end, when you're getting ready to start um, taking assessments and stuff, you should start making a forgettable list. You should know the things you're having trouble with. I, for example, I remember something that I had a lot of trouble with was the hyperbilirubinemias. I can never remember if it was Gilbert's or uh, Krigler, Nigeria. I can't even, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But, um... I had a hard time with that, so I, I was making a forgettable list. If I saw that there was something that I always went back to in my first day that I always had to go and write extra stuff on, I put it on a forgettable list and I looked over that forgettable list the last few days. But I'm going to make a video on the last few days. I'm going to go through a couple of questions that people have. Um, I got a question from Sweet Maggie just a couple of days ago, and she asked me if I actually tried to memorize it, the book, and I mean, I don't know, I'm not one to like memorize word for word, but I mean, I did read it through it twice, and the second time it was like, I already knew most of it, but I was just trying to go through it again. Then I got a question from Dr. Eduardo Beltran from Bolivia. And um, he asked me about the PASS program and what I thought. I mean, I've never really seen the PASS program, but I think that the key to step one is really focusing on certain things, you know, Kaplan, first aid, a question bank, whichever you choose. I think UWorld is the best. And just sticking to that. I think if you go all over the place, then you know a little bit about everything, but not 
you know, get everything really in depth. So that's just my personal experience and I don't know. But I mean, if you have time, do whatever you can. This is a very hard test and you should um, prepare accordingly. Um, anything else? So another question that people ask is whether or not what sections in the book are enough to read just first aid. I mean, nothing is really enough to read from first aid, but if I could say one thing, pharmacology is more than enough in the first aid. Microbiology is very good in the first aid. Um, but you can't just focus on the first aid. You have to have a base. You have to go to Kaplan first and read over um, the Kaplan books and have a good base so that when you get to the first aid, you understand what they're saying. The first time I opened a, <laughs> my first aid, I was like, what is all this? Especially being from... Uh, uh, school out of the U.S. I know in the U.S. they prepare them a lot better and their studies are geared towards step one, but we're not. So when I looked through this book the first time, I was like, what is all this stuff? Have I seen any of this? And I mean, obviously I have seen some of it, but I felt like there was so much missing. So um, that's it. Uh, my next video is going to be on... MBMEs and my the assessments I used because I used uh, the two assessments from the UWorld question bank too. Also, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. My uh, channel got like double the subscribers in this past uh, couple of weeks. So thank you to all the new subscribers and uh, to any new people watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook too. I'm gonna post a link in the bottom description box. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.